very excited today to have the opportunity to talk to Rick Rogers. Welcome, Rick. Thank you. Rick is a wealth manager from Rogers and Associates in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. That's correct. And we are going to talk about the um, very fascinating subject of tax reform. <laughs> um, probably just about everybody filed their taxes this right. year and there's always a lot of talk about we're going to simplify the system. Mm -hmm. um, I don't believe it, but <laughs> you can try to convince me today. Do you think we'll see under this uh, new administration in Washington some tax reform this year? Probably not this year, okay. so, but I think we will see tax reform and uh, hopefully we'll get the conversation started in this uh, this year and get it passed in probably in 2018. Well, what, what does that mean? What's it going to look like if we, <laughs> we have tax reform? Well, we need to define tax reform first because exactly. probably a lot, because a lot of people are thinking, well, they change the tax code every year, so mm -hmm. there's always something, and that's probably true. But there's really only been two major tax reform um, bills that have been passed. Uh, the the first time that they even started the Internal Revenue Service was probably back in. Uh, in the 20s or 30s, and then 1952 or 1955, they had a major tax reform, which actually simplified the code and consolidated a lot of the legislation. It did? Really? Yes, back wow. in the 50s, <laughs> okay. and then again in 1986 okay. under the Reagan administration. And so when we talk about tax reform, we're looking at simplifying the code. And so hopefully that's what we get and not just another tweaking here and there and monkeying around with uh, tax rates. So there, uh, w is, there's a lot of ways to sim simplify. Mm -hmm. One of the easiest ones for all of us to understand and for the audience to understand is um, bra breaking down the t top seven uh, right, right. Uh, ways to uh, tax levels mm -hmm. down to three. Mm -hmm. um, but that can't be the end of it. I mean, that can't be just what tax reform is, correct? Well, that would certainly be a step in the it would be, uh, it would be a, a step in the step. step. So, yeah. in order to get it down to three tax brackets, of course, I if we're going to reduce the tax brackets, then we got to make up the revenue somewhere else. And so, simplifying it would be going from seven tax brackets down to three. Three that would be a start, and then probably getting rid of some of the uh, the little tax deductions that okay. really add complications to the tax return. So, okay. the the tax. The, the tax code is just way too complicated. Most people can't figure out how to do it on their own. There's, I don't know, it's hundreds of millions of dollars of potential refunds that go uncollected by people who don't file tax returns, probably because it just seems overwhelming. Mm -hmm. And why should I pay somebody to, to prepare a tax return that I have to pay taxes on? Right, it's, 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 it is hard, it's overwhelming and scary. I think mm -hmm. people, most people are afraid of the IRS, so right. they, mm -hmm. it's a little, it gets a little bit crazy. But so as a financial advisor and a wealth manager right now, uh, you've got clients coming in and saying, hey, <laughs> you know, Trump, Trump's going to simplify the tax system. Right. What, what does that mean for me? What should we do differently? What can I <laughs> do to be ready for this, you know, this, this revolution that's coming? Um, how do you advise your clients right now when there's a, a little bit of uncertainty about what's coming? Mm -hmm. Well, let me give you uh, two answers. Okay. First one, just to back up on your question, the president's proposals are not to simplify the system. So oh. uh, if you follow what he has actually recommended uh, or what he would like to see happen, it would probably add some complexity to it. So no. would not be, <laughs> so President Trump's proposals would not be tax reform. Okay. Uh, but the Republican-led House, yes. their proposals, they would like to see it really simplified to Don't where- Don't they want it on a postcard? Uh, to do postcard it on a postcard. Side, yeah. So there's probably going to be some compromise between what the President wants, what the House Republicans want, and then what the Democrats want and hopefully it, what what ends up is a simpler <laughs> <laughs> a simple uh, we true we'll tax reform and, and it yeah. would be simpler so getting back to your original question then the the problem with uh, with trying to manage your money or manage your finances based on potential changes in the tax law is just mind-boggling and I don't think that's very productive uh, so what I advise uh, clients to do is to try to make changes, not big changes, until we actually have something that has been passed and has now become law. So in order to decide that I want to accelerate, in accelerate income into one year or defer income to into another year, uh, not much of that until we actually have a change or we know that a change is coming and we want to do something before the change happens. The best thing, the best way to plan is to diversify how you're saving your money okay. so that you have money in after tax, 
uh, tax deferred and some tax free, which would be like a Roth IRA, so that you can make changes to your income and really craft your own tax bracket. Well, I would think that um, tax reform of any kind would have a positive impact on all of the financial markets. Um, mm -hmm. Would you agree with that uh, statement? Well, <laughs> Probably wouldn't be good for accountants. I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe. maybe, but but I but don't I think figure so. Something out. <laughs> but I think so. It's the uh, the the regulatory cost of just administering this complex tax system and the uh, the effort and money that's spent on just preparing tax returns and filing tax returns that could be better spent doing something productive. So yeah, I would think true tax reform, simplifying the code, which would cut down on the number of hours, the cost, and uh, the burden of filing your taxes is going to be a positive. Is there going to be any, um, are there going to be any changes um, either with, uh, with the IRS code or other legislative changes that would impact retirement coming well, there's, up? Well, there have been talk about some changes and, uh, and one of the trends that we actually see happening in the states that I think has a really good chance of getting adopted federally is the push to have uh, automatic deductions for IRAs. Uh, Illinois was the first state mm. that set up a state system which, uh, as I understand it, is similar to the way 529 college savings accounts are, are set up. So any employer who does not have a retirement plan for their employees can sign their employees up for this. It doesn't cost the employer anything. Wow. So really all the employer is doing is collecting money and putting it into these IRA accounts and their regular IRA accounts that the employee can go and do with Choose. what they want or, or, or move and, and uh, do something else with when it's not part of the system. And I believe there's probably four other states that have adopted, have already passed uh, setting these up, uh, just haven't implemented it. To my knowledge, in 2017, Illinois is the only one's plan who is actually working. And there has been some talk that this would be a better system than Social Security. It would be a run together with Social Security done on the federal level. So think of it as a federal 401k. And that would help people be able to save when their employer isn't offering it. Well, I think that would be fascinating, and I um, think that we can um, close out here by pointing out that until that goes into place <laughs> for everybody, people can not retire broke by right. reading your book, because <laughs> I right. think there's some great um, tips in there for everyone, for our entire audience, um, on not retiring broke, and I think that that's that's the goal of what you were just talking about, what right. your bo book is. And so I just want to thank you so much for uh, being here today and sharing your wisdom and knowledge about wealth management. It was fun to be with you. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm.